Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make this quick update video on Laravel Fortify because there have been some changes on the documentation. At the time of shooting these videos, there was actually no formal documentation on Laravel Fortify and now there is a documentation on the Laravel Docs. So if we go to Laravel Docs, we see the section for Laravel Fortify. Now there also have been some improvements to Laravel Fortify uh, which removes the need for specifying and copying the routes into the API routes file. So for example to make this work I had to copy the routes from the Fortify source and into the API routes file but now there has been an update where you actually don't need to do this. So for example if you go back to the documentation there is an option to disable views. So there is this views option right here and this was added after I recorded the videos in this PR. Also there is another hidden feature that was not documented before which is uh, ability to specify prefix so that also is useful for us because we can set the API prefix. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to remove all these uh, routes that I copied. So let's remove this. Let's also remove the login route. Going to remove the logout route the confirm password 2fa update profile information and update password routes and we don't need this either so as you can see now our api routes file looks much cleaner then we go to the fortify service provider and we remove this ignore routes definition here so that way we use larval's built-in routes for fortify and then we go to the fortify config file and here we add prefix api and then view false i actually made a typo here this should be views and not a view so i'm going to change that to views now if we run php artisan route list we see that these routes are defined by laravel and they're prefixed by the api so everything should work as expected and we did not have to define any of these routes within our api routes file we just have this cleaner api routes file and you don't need to maintain those routes yourself just one other thing to note about the password reset in the documentation uh, it states that when disabling views for password reset you need to have this named route well that is actually not the case you don't Need to have that because in the app service provider if you remember in the previous uh, video in this series where we implemented reset password feature we were able to override that using the create the url using function and we were able to specify the url here so in that case you actually don't need the named route password that reset so let's test this out and make sure that it still works so i'm going to open the spa i'm going to log in and it worked it also loaded the tickets correctly let's go to the account settings let's make sure the update works so let's add something to the name and to the email save and profile info has been updated we refresh and update is there let's make sure that the password update also works and it does we're going to log out and log back in to make sure that still works I'm going to enter the new password and that worked and let's test the 2fa we're going to enable enter the new password and that also worked i'm going to copy one recovery code and let's log out and let's see if the 2fa still works and it does we're going to enter the recovery code and that worked as well so as you notice everything is working as expected and we have much cleaner API routes file. So this is it. I just wanted to make this quick update video letting you know that there is a better way of doing it than I initially did uh, because there has been an update on the Fortify side that wasn't there at the time I made these series. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next video.